Hey y'all, welcome back to Crime Time with Mel. If you all are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Also, if you are new, hi and welcome. My name is Mal or Mallory, whatever you want to call me, and welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe to my channel over here. I am a true crime channel. I mainly cover missing people and unsolved cases. I upload on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Sometimes I will throw in an extra video, sometimes, and we just like to spread awareness for the people that don't get the spotlight they deserve on local media stations, and I just want to help spread awareness to everybody. Sometimes I will throw in some solved cases just to give us like a little bit of a, a little bit of a break. Today's video is going to be recently solved. Wednesday, in fact, and it is about Alexis Sharkey. If you don't know who Alexis Sharkey is, I have done some videos on her in the past. I will leave them up here. Y'all, they're cringy. They're very cringy, so brace yourself. I suggest don't actually watch the video. Just listen because I play with my hair a lot. I was having a horrible hair day. I needed to wash it to be honest with you and it was driving me absolutely nuts so just disregard that okay don't say I didn't warn you I was actually just thinking about this case not too long ago like last week as a matter of fact I was looking up an update because I haven't heard anything in a minute and I just wanted to know what was going on and no updates were available but they were obviously doing stuff behind the scenes so just because we don't hear anything from police or law enforcement doesn't mean that they're not doing stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, on September 29th 2021 uh, because of the high profile nature of the, uh, for him and Mr. Sharkey avoided them ran upstairs uh, when he learned that law enforcement was there uh, for him and he took his own life using a firearm. Uh, his identity was confirmed by the relative that was on scene, by the arresting officers who had been looking for him, and by official identification that he had in his possession. Uh, the Lee County Sheriff's Office in Florida is conducting the death investigation of Mr. Sharkey. Uh, I would like to emphasize that this has been a very tragic series of events for both families, the Robinals and the Sharkies. Uh, they've been through uh, hell, essentially, uh, with the attention of the public on this case. Uh, I want to put out there that no one else is suspected of any involvement in the case. And Who Alexis is I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a recap she is 26 years old at the time she lived in Houston Texas with her husband Tom Sharkey she also had quite a bit of a following on Instagram she didn't like the word influencer so I'm not gonna use that word but she did have a good following and then she also worked for the hair company Monet, Monet, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but MLM hair company. She worked for that and was very successful doing that as well. Her and Tom traveled everywhere, going on trips. And then last year, the day after Thanksgiving, Alexis was found by a garbage puck, truck, garbage puck, garbage truck driver, and she was found completely undressed and her feet were sticking out of a bush. It was later then pronounced that she passed away from homicide, strangulation, and she was only three miles away from her apartment in Texas. And unfortunately, there's so much stuff that goes into this, so y'all check out that first video I did. Again, don't watch it. Just listen, please. <laughs> but ever since then that Alexis was found, there was nothing it basically went silent i feel like they were just working behind the scenes and actually i got quite a few comments on that video that i did because i said that tom didn't sit easy with me and that was just my opinion like i can have my opinion y'all can have your own opinion we can agree to disagree i'm grown and if i'm wrong i will gladly admit it apologize i'm sorry 
but that was just my feeling. I did not get a good feeling. Not saying he, I knew 100% he was guilty, but I didn't get a good feeling from the dude. And as more and more came out, they did have domestic violence issues, right? And they were in a separation. So Alexis actually talked multiple times about divorcing Tom. He had the means, he had the motive, and he had the opportunity. So this past Wednesday, it's what, October 8th? So this past Wednesday, police department did a press conference and they did say that they were building evidence against Tom Sharkey. They said he was not truthful during investigations and he would actually throw a bunch of people under the bus as suspects to, you know, take the heat off of him. Two weeks after Alexis's murder, Tom actually left Texas and they were trying to get a DNA sample from Tom and he left the state. In August, this past August, they finally got in touch with Tom. He was living in Georgia and he agreed to meet detectives. Well, they ended up not being able to contact Tom when they were in Georgia. And he actually ended up giving them this really bizarre story. They didn't say what it was, but they said it was bizarre about why he ended up even moving in the first place. Then not long after this August situation, Tom moved to Fort Myers, Florida to live with his daughter. After time, police gathered enough probable cause and they felt like they had enough to charge Tom with Alexis's murder. And the only person that knew about this warrant was the police. They kept a very tight lip, but just because with how public her case got and they didn't want the word getting back to Tom. They didn't tell his family nothing. So literally the only people that knew were law enforcement. On September 29th, when police learned that he was in Fort Myers. They quietly went to his daughter's house. And when Tom realized that they were there for him, Tom ran upstairs and took his own life. This makes me so mad on so many levels, like so many levels. I feel bad saying this as a person because I don't want anybody to take their own life. I have actually dealt with that myself. My best friend since I was a child, if you don't know, took his own life 10 years ago, actually on September 29th. Um, that's weird. That is odd. But I mean, it wasn't anything like this. I think doing something like this is very cowardly. Like he had PTSD from the Marines and all that. That's way different. You know what I mean? Like you took the easy way out. But then again, I'm like, we'd just be spending our tax dollars holding him in prison. But I don't know. I, I would, I hope this gives the family closure I do feel bad for law enforcement doing all that work and now just the case is closed. I mean, I feel so bad on so many levels. I feel like also Alexis didn't get the justice that she deserved. I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? What is your opinion about that? So just be respectful, please, in the comments. Y'all are always so nice. They did say that the case is closed unless any other information comes out. Um, that's, that's it. I do wish the family peace, closure, healing, everything. Like I'm praying for them each and every day, as well as for her friends. A lot of people thought that her friends were involved, like the clique that she met in Monet, Monette, that clique. But that is all I have for y'all today. I just saw this and I had to make a video of it because a lot of us were so invested in this. I was invested in this case and she's just a beautiful, beautiful person. I say this in a lot of my videos and I wholeheartedly mean it. I have also been in extremely toxic, verbally, um, physically abusive relationships and you can do it. You are worthy of something better. And I truly mean that with all of my heart. I promise once you get away from all that toxicity, good things, so many great things will come about your life. And if you ever need to talk, I'm not a professional by no means, but I do work for a crisis intervention center. It's mainly for teens, but 
I'm here if you need to talk. If you have Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram, message me over there. Or you can also email me and that will be down in the description box below. Also, all my sources will be down in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss whenever I upload a video because sometimes I like to surprise y'all. I'm spontaneous like that. I'm an Aries, so... I hope y'all have a great Saturday and be safe out there. I will see y'all on Tuesday's video and I love you. Bye y'all.